absorbing close to 99% of light. This is one of the darkest rooms in existence. And it's incredibly hard to tell where the walls start and where they end. Let me share with you the journey that I took to make this room and also what I'm going to do inside of it to play with perception and light and see how the mind reacts to there being almost no reflections off these walls. Let's take it back. In the middle of November, I asked if anyone wanted to see my room painted with one of the darkest paints commercially available. And at the time of recording, almost two and a half million people said yes. Which means I got to work and I built my own room from scratch. I mean, I could paint the floors and the ceilings with that dark paint. This meant that I created one of the darkest rooms in existence. The paint that I used absorbs up to 99% of light, but one of the darkest materials in existence is a material called Vanta Black, which can absorb over 99.9% .9 of light. And it does this in an incredibly interesting way using nanotechnology. So how do you get something so incredibly dark that it absorbs 99% of light? Well, you use something called carbon nanotubes, which aren't actually a paint. See, carbon nanotubes are these incredibly thin and small tubes that in comparison to their height, allow them to absorb a lot of light. Kind of like being in a forest. Imagine you have incredibly tall trees all around you. The more spaced out they are, the more light it's going to allow in. Now, imagine all those trees bunched together in an incredibly small amount of space. And you're not gonna be letting a lot of light in. See, this is how carbon nanotubes work. They're able to fit billions of carbon nanotubes in such a tiny area that they absorb practically all the light and let almost nothing back out. Now, all this light bounces around in those carbon nanotubes and it is eventually absorbed in the form of heat. So materials like Vanderblack end up getting quite hot. Now, Stuart Semple was able to create a black paint using similar type of properties, but instead of using nanotubes, he used carbon particles. He was able to create a paint that absorbed 99% of light. And it's this paint that I'm using in my room. But it doesn't absorb all of light. In fact, the only thing that absorbs 100% of light and every single wave on the electromagnetic spectrum is a black hole. Because nothing can escape the gravitational pull of a black hole once it has passed its event horizon. So even though materials can absorb 99.9% .9 of light, it still means you're going to be able to see a little bit of reflection or a little bit of light bouncing out of it. And this is especially true for this type of paint because it only absorbs 99% of light. So you're still going to see a shadow. But the second you get away from a flashlight being pointed directly at your face, it's hard to tell where the depth of the wall actually is. And that's because it does a very good job at not reflecting the light off the walls everywhere. So I can't tell right now where the walls start on the other side of the room. I saw a lot of comments asking me to not do this because it wouldn't be good for my mental health. A lot of comments said that I would go crazy if I spent more than half an hour in here or I wouldn't be able to last more than an hour in this incredibly dark room. But I don't buy that. I think I'm going to be able to last, who knows, an hour? two hours, maybe even three, because I think it's going to be quite peaceful in here. So I'm going to spend however long I can in this room with nothing at all. So let's see how long I can last for. Okay. All the lights are off. And I am just uh, sitting on one chair in a very dark room. I'm not going to look at the time. I'm not going to do anything. It's just going to be me, my thoughts, nothing else. It's a little bit disorientating <laughs> staring at the wall and you know what's right in front of you. 
but you just can't see it. It's pretty relaxing, actually. I can imagine this would be a pretty nice room to go to sleep in. I'll let you know in, uh, in a couple of minutes how I'm doing. I don't know how long I've been here for. I'd say probably 10 minutes. It's starting to heat up. It is a mildly warm summer's day here in Sydney. And I expect it to get hot. It definitely feels a lot hotter than I thought it would be. I'm walking around and feeling where the walls are. There's one chair that I keep walking into because I can't see it. It's far more disorientating than I thought it would be. I think I'm maybe 20 minutes in. One thing I have noticed though is that because I built this room myself, it's not perfect. And there are these tiny little cracks where the walls meet the ceiling that are letting in just the tiniest bit of light if I get the right angle. The second I look away, there's just nothing. I'm starting to get a little bit, a little bit drowsy in here. I'm gonna see if I can take a nap. Whoa. Oh, that is not as comfortable as I thought it would be. So I'm now lying down. And that's, uh, not comfortable, but it's peaceful. This room is just very relaxing. I can imagine this would be a really good place to do some meditation and just zone out for a bit. I think it's been about an hour now. The floor is actually a lot more comfortable than I thought it would be. I, mean, I don't think I can sleep on this, but this, uh, this isn't too bad. You can probably hear that there's a neighbor using a chainsaw or a leaf blower. And it's very prominent into what might have been like a little minor annoyance at the start. It's now the only thing that I can experience. This is far more relaxing than I thought it would be. I don't know how long I'm into it, but it's quite peaceful. Definitely not seeing any demons or my mind isn't playing any tricks on me. In fact, it's just nice. I don't really have much else to add. But I'm going to say it's probably about an hour and a half now. It's going pretty well. I'm enjoying it. My stomach though, oh, could go with some food. Okay. I think I'm done. I reckon it's probably close to two hours. And I think it's time to, to try and find the door. Had a pretty good time in here so far. My thoughts and me. Oh, I'm gonna get off the floor. Oh, okay. The floor is not that comfortable. Actually, I'm back. Oh, I'm getting old. Okay. Where is this door? There we go. 